Crack! Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about what troops to use, uh, how to pick kind of what your main troop uh, loadout is going to be, and just everything that um, kind of impacts that. Because in Boom Beach, there is, um, I, I feel like there's more kind of troop variants than there is in any other game, and that's because of the statues, right? So you can really kind of tailor your statues towards whatever uh, troops you like the most, um, you enjoy using, you have the most success with, and that, that's going to come down to a lot of factors. So uh, the first kind of most important thing is um, it, it, you have to determine what type of player you are. Are you operations focused? Are you um, like global leaderboard focused? Are you, um, are you just worried about getting the events, um, getting all the events down and maybe like um like are, are you trying to gain power powder are you like uh trying to be somewhat balanced between all of them like th there's a lot of stuff to figure out um in terms of managing your statues uh, especially at the beginning so once you have that figured out um if you're an operations player and like you want to do high level task force end game and that's kind of your goal then you're gonna, of course, you're gonna need to learn how to use um, smoky zookas, and you're gonna have to kind of tailor your statues towards that. And you see, I like for the most part, I have done that um, myself, but um, obviously, still lots to learn. I'm far from far from an expert smoky zooka player like Zmot or uh, Crazy Turtle or anything like that, guys. Um, <clears throat> so if you're if you're going the operation route, you're gonna want to have a bunch of damage and a bunch of GBE for the Zookas, right? Because that's how you use Zookas um, in high level operation gameplay. So if you're more, um, if you're more interested in um, in global leaderboard pushing and um, and maybe doing uh, events and stuff, and say say you're not at the point yet in your VP where, where you're gonna need to deploy a bunch of ice, then um, you can kind of uh, just go ahead and pick whatever troops uh, you find the best to use for your VP level. So I would say up to around 700 Scorchers and Tanks, Tank Medic is probably going to be the best bet. Um, you can really kind of pick anything in that range and get away with it. Um, above and beyond that, it depends more on your statue layout, uh, what kind of troops are going to work best for you. So Heavies and Zookas um, are going to are going to be really good um, for uh, like later game, uh, higher VP player bases, and uh, even the events and stuff like that. Um, you can... like. Heavies and Zookas are great with the... They're great because they're really versatile, right? So you can use them and have great success with a lot of offensive statues. And you can also use them and have really good success with a lot of um, with with a lot of ice statues. Like you, whenever you see uh, Max 2015 or um, any sort of global leaderboard attacks that aren't... Um, <clears throat> that aren't like um, fully maxed out offense or whatever... Um, you see most of them using heavies and zookas, and that's because um, they probably have the best cost-benefit ratio when it comes to GBE. Um, and that just means like they do the most uh, damage for uh, for the GBE that they cost. So, <clears throat> so yeah, heavies and zookas are really versatile. That's why I would say if you're just starting out, um, I would go with heavy and zooka um, at first. And that's mainly because you don't really know what you'd like doing just yet you know what i mean if that makes sense like you don't really know if you like um doing operations and stuff and heavies and zookas are going to give you a really good balance of uh of, of all the options really that uh, that you can kind of play um now say you, you just want to focus on events and stuff and maybe you're just kind of gaining power powder and like you have more of a, a balanced statue lineup uh, i think scorcher tank or uh, tank medic are going to be really good for that um, cause a Scorcher Tank and Tank Medic are the easiest way to take down Dr. Terror, um, no question about that. Um, and they're, they're also the best for doing imitation game, like blindfolded or whatever, like you could do that so easily with, uh, with, with Scorcher Tanks, right? So, uh, Scorcher Tank are really good for, um, if you have like a more balanced statue layout and you're only, and you're not really concerned about doing operations, uh, even in, in operations, if you don't want to do high level, um, high level ops, uh, you can use Scorchers and Tanks and uh, Team Eds in, like, anything. Even Foxtrot, you can get away with it um, in, on some bases. Like, depending on the size of your task force, you may not uh, be able to actually take it down fully. But you can definitely get away with using them uh, here and there um, on, on on bases above Tinderbox. But Tinderbox and below, you're going to be okay with Scorchers and Tanks and Tank Medic and stuff like that. Um, so... 
I guess that leaves us with we haven't really uh, talked about uh, grenadiers. There's there's a lot of different combinations. Um, grenadiers, I'm not really a hundred percent sure what um, like you can use grens. Um, they're better for more like specific uh, layouts. Like I would say to have grens as like your wild card. Like definitely have that in your arsenal and know how to use it know how to use grens and medics because there's some bases like uh they'll, they'll ran randomly be a doctor terror day and uh the base is just like super easy for grens it doesn't happen a lot but um and of course imitation game you can you can do anything on you can just like play the game with your nose like uh it doesn't matter what what troop uh what troop loadouts you use for that but um but yeah you definitely definitely be able to use grens because even on high level operations they um they come into play on certain bases and stuff so they're definitely good to know how to use uh i wouldn't say that they should be your main um unless you're like um un unless you have a ton of offensive statues right like they're they're not really going to be that great if you only say have like three to five offense statues you're going to be better off again using hookah using all zuka using rifle zuka medic um rifle zuka medic is is um it's kind of a funny strategy like it's it's the best unboosted uh composition for sure for like the bulk of uh, for the bulk of player bases that you'll see but it's it's the worst boosted in my opinion that's just because you're gonna lose a lot more troops like obviously i'm not talking about um like when you're at 1700 vp or anything there's only like a few people up there uh that would have to be concerned about that but um you're gonna be better off when you're fully boosted to run something like zukas warriors uh scorchers and tanks stuff like that um because you're not you're gonna lose a lot less troops um in general so when you're boosted it's all it's, it's all kind of about just saving your your troops and your diamonds um and just making the most of your map clearing time because i assume that's what you're going to do when you are boosted okay um so yeah that's kind of just like a basic um a basic strategy to use concerning uh what troops to pick um, now, when it comes to like your your main troops, it, again, it's it's it kind of like everything we've talked about. Um, a lot of factors come into play, like what kind of player you are, uh, what you like doing uh, the most in the game, and uh, and yeah. So if you're if you're event focused and you're kind of balanced, heavy zuka, scorcher tank, tank medic is probably going to be your best bet. Uh, if you're low level, just starting out, I would I would say to go with heavies and zukas at the start. I think that's going to be um i think that's going to be the easiest to start off with and uh when, when you get to higher levels um that's when you can really start to play around with it a bit and um <clears throat> like say you really like using scorcher tanks and um you just like doing the events as like quickly as possible and you just want to gain like a little bit of powder up as quickly as possible then you could kind of go like a, a three health two damage five gbe something like that some kind of lineup for uh for the armored units um, and that would make all of what you're trying to do a lot easier. And, okay, alright, so where are we going here, guys? Where are we going here? we got to focus up a little bit. Um, I'm going to take out this boom mine, and I think I'm going to get a GB back on this. Hopefully, if we can hit that wide right crate, which we can't. Three, six, alright, so, didn't do too terribly there, but, uh, could have been better. Alrighty, alrighty, so we're blasting our way up here, blasting our way up. Uh, we might lose a couple Zookas. That should be okay. Careful, girls. Careful, careful, careful. Um, Alright, so we'll walk out this way. Hopefully avoid that one mine. Maybe we'll get lucky and it won't be maxed. Uh, it was maxed. It was maxed. Um, hmm. So we don't have any troops left. Maybe we can um, get up here and just one smoke. And, and uh, it kind of depends on what's in range, honestly. I don't see too, too much. Maybe we can get away with it, guys. Maybe we'll get away with it. Who knows? Um, all right. So we want to go something like this. Uh, throw some med kits down. Yeah, we're not doing anything for damage here. So we're probably going to get roasted on this one, guys. But uh, we should be able to finish it out doing the same thing again. And not hitting mines next time. So um, we actually got really close there. As soon as that shot launcher touches up, though, we are going to get roasted. Maybe we'll get another shot off. Can we do it? No, no. Roasted with the chicken, guys. Roasted with the chicken. All right, so we'll load up again. And uh, I guess I'll just kind of show the loadouts that I have. Um, <clears throat> I didn't say anything about warriors. Obviously, warriors are um, definitely one of the best troops you can use in the game um, as far as, like, um, not really, like, high-level attacks go. Um, just for, like, general map clearing and stuff. I still use warriors. Um, warriors are going to benefit a lot from your statues, too, if you are... Um, 
like operations focus because they benefit a lot from GB and troop damage the same as Zookas and uh, so that kind of goes hand in hand if you're um, okay um, if you're like operations focused or whatever uh, that kind of makes it a little bit easier so what do we want to do here guys I want to take a, that boom mine and then where was the mine that uh, the chickened us here I think it was this guy here because we had plenty of GBE once we got there um, now can we yeah there's too many rockets on the landing that's the problem okay so I'll throw up the smoke a little bit higher and this one a little bit lower and I think it's gonna kind of keep them somewhat in line for us okay there we go there we go now we're cooking with the chicken guys now we're cooking I'll flare up here all right I'm liking this I'm liking this uh, that mine is not maxed I guess Apparently you'll get some non-max mines on Dr. Terrence. I've never really actually stopped and scouted and looked, but um, I guess that is a thing that happens sometimes. So if you are going to use all Zookas and you don't want to spend a bunch of diamonds like me, then that's probably going to be the better way to do it is actually scout first and uh, see what kind of mines that you can walk over. Because if, if they're not maxed, if they're level 15 or whatever they are, then um, you can actually walk through quite a bit of them. Oh, okay, wow, that was quite the spread. Um, all right, so one, two, three. Health kits down. Alright, so we should be able to blast through this one, guys. We should be able to blast through this one. And boom, stage 7 goes down. Okay, so some clucks for Jack. Clucks for Jack. And um, and yeah, definitely let me know, guys, down in the comments what, uh, what your main troop composition is. Um, for me, I kind of like... I don't know, I'm kind of all over the place. I like using everything. Um... 541 is a great statue layout. I don't have that because I have the Power Stone chance, but that's kind of a great statue layout for everything in general because you can use Scorch and Tanks and Tank Medic with one troop health. And if especially if it's boosted, that's gonna that's gonna benefit you a lot. Um But yeah, if you don't have as many offensive statues as I do, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you have three um masterpieces boosted, that's gonna give you the same effect as having uh ten and a half um fully offense statues unboosted so just something to keep in mind guys uh there are a lot of true variants um depends on how you want to play the game um and uh and yeah it, it, it's really up to you and and statues are a big part of um using whatever troop layout that you like using so yeah uh, like i said guys let me know down in the comments what uh what troop comp is your main composition that you like using uh why do you like using it and uh that's gonna wrap it up for the video today make sure you like if you're entertaining or informative and we'll see you in the next one guys check it out